Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanyi family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome, and let's enjoy some great music together. All right, so what do we have for the Goonies today? Today we're going to get back to some Australian crawl. It's Australian been a crawl. while since we touched on any of their stuff. I think so. Quite yeah. a while, actually. Hmm. Um, this song is called Indisposed. Indisposed. And there were eight people that wanted this one, so mm. I'm, I'm guessing that it'll be popular. Yeah. Yeah. And we, so, we'd ask them what they think of it these days, but they're indisposed. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so the people who asked for this one are Robbo, Caitlin Bat, Australian Banana Pie, The Mighty V, Live It Up, Brett French, Craig Alden, and Once Was Our Strathfield. There you go. Well, uh, Australian Crawl has impressed us in uh, recent past. Yes. Uh, this channel has really opened our eyes to a lot of Australian content, including Australian Really has, Crawl. yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, everybody, everybody else, too. We were really surprised. I mean, we thought we oh, we were the arrogant uh, former DJ, former karaoke hosts that, uh, you know, thought, oh, well, it'll be a couple of months. We'll run out of songs and it won't be a problem. We'll just be done. But we can't be but done because there's thousands of songs we don't know. <laughs> it's been It's been <laughs> two years. Yes. And we're still finding new songs. Yep, there's so much. Our list is growing and growing and growing. Yes. And that's the beauty of music. You can never get all of it. No. It, there's always more that you haven't seen or heard. Yeah, even in our own region, we thought for sure we knew everything. But again, we never, <laughs> it never crossed our mind that, oh, well, we don't know this person's eight albums. We don't right. know, we don't know uh, a lot of the more off the wall kind of stuff from from our time. Well, because when you're entertainers, mm. which we didn't become until we were adults. Yeah. Pretty, well, you were a teenager when you started DJing. I was 15. DJing. But, yeah. yeah. But I mean, when you're doing those kinds of things, all you ever do is the hits. That's true. You don't do all the B-sides and all the rare mm. tracks that you can find. Yeah. Well, when I was when I was growing up, it was all top 40. Yeah. When I was 15, I started DJing. Top 40, top 40, top 40. I mean, oh, of course. The kids only listen to the top 40, you know, yep. obviously. And then I went to the adult clubs, like uh, uh, I worked at Club Classics, which is a, was a well, classics. Classics for the 80s was like 50s and 60s and stuff. Yeah. So I knew, I learned a lot of the hits from those days and, you know, got to play a lot of that. Plus they wanted me to play country music. And uh, after that, I was at the Opera House, which was supposed to be kind of a top 40. They hired me because they thought I would play some country for them. There's no way I was going to do that. It was mostly a top 40 with probably a little retro thrown well, in. Well, when I got there, I, like I said, I found all the dance music. I started looking at the Billboard dance charts and started throwing on songs that were on those charts. Yeah. And mixed it in with some top 40 because, you know, where I come from, you got to play some top 40. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we never delved into any of the weird stuff. I didn't even watch like City Limits on Much Music? No, because it was just not in our wheelhouse. It, it wasn't, wasn't what we liked. Yeah, it wasn't what we liked growing up. It wasn't yeah. what I was using as a DJ. Yeah, exactly. So I just never got into it. So I, I'm learning a lot of the stuff from my region that I didn't know. I'm learning a lot of stuff from all your guys' regions. Yeah, it's fantastic to your, learn your so guys, much. You guys. Is, oh, my goodness sake. I don't, know, I don't know the vernacular. It's so funny. Because, I mean, we are learning a lot of new bands, and there's so many more to learn. We're, yeah. You could never, I don't care who you are, you could never do a reaction channel and run out of songs. No. Doesn't matter who you are. Uh, no, unless you're <laughs> like a total music geek. And, no, even which, then. Uh, even then. Because there's certain ones you won't I don't have know. heard. There's, there's a couple of guys that I'd watch our channel that I'm pretty sure would never be surprised. We even surprised Adam. And he seems That's to know true. quite a lot. That's so. true. Uh, maybe. Yep. <laughs> but we love music and that's why we do it. So Of course. And so, well, that and to make a few dollars. A few. So like and subscribe. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're definitely interested in anything from Australian Crawl because they're really great. Yes. And we're going to get into it. This is Australian Crawl with Indisposed.
I really like the feel of this song. Mm -hmm. It's so fun and so groovy. I just, I like it. It has a very old fashioned feel to it. A very old fashioned kind of groove. I like it. Kind of reminds me of Jay Giles. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. I really enjoy this one though. Yeah. Just the feel of it is really cool. And the way he chose to do the vocal is kind of funny. Oh my gosh. He has a frienda that was hit by a venda. Is mm. it that? Is that what he said? And by a fender. Was a, yeah, or, yeah, he's in a bender. <laughs> it's just so funny. And now he's on the menda. Now he's on the menda. Yeah. It's just so silly, but I like it. Mm-hmm. I really do like it, even though it's very silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting, for sure. Uh, a lot of fun, for sure. And, um, you know, the back, uh, interesting, they put, Know, put the band in broken cars on the stage. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, but it feels really good the way the music's done. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Quite nice. So let's keep it going. All right. That was so fun to listen to. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. The style that he chose to sing that song Mm -hmm. was really fun. Yeah. And you could tell he's just like being silly on purpose. For sure. It's so fun. And his tone is really nice. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. This is a very well done song. Great guitar solo. Yeah. The band is quite good, actually. I I really like them. They were really tight. It was really fun. Yeah. And... I like how we reacted to that drum, that that uh, kettle drum hit. Yeah, every time. <laughs> Boom. I know it's fantastic. Kick out and yeah, I the just note. the antics on stage were fantastic. Yeah, they really were. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun to watch the video. It was a great sounding song. Yeah, this yeah. one's definitely. I'll, I would listen to this. Yeah. Often. Yeah. <laughs> I would. It's quite good. I like it. So thank you very much for that request. It was definitely appreciated. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.